Barry? Yes? Have you seen my Vader? Wasn't he in Star Wars? Hey? Darth Vader. Not Vader, Vader. Oh, Vader. Well, have you seen it? Yeah, it's on the desk. No, there's another one besides this. Is it invisible, then? No, rubber. I've lost it. Where did you last see it? I think it was when I was making that film. Film? Yeah, Waders of the Lost Ark. Do you know, I'm sure I got that title one. Er, uh, well, I haven't seen it. Are you sure? Well, I did need some rubber to mend a puncture on my bike. Go and fetch it. OK. <laughs> Not the bike, the welly. Why not you say so? There's just a little piece missing off the bottom. Hey. Oh, no. How am I going to present today's show with a hole in me welly? Just say, programme, I present you with a hole in me welly. What's the programme about, anyway? Fish. Tropical. Fairly tropical. Great. Excuse me, I'll be with you in a minute. I'm just getting ready for today's show. Hey, I fixed it. I did. What? 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 What are you doing? I'm just testing my bike. It's as right as rain now. Oh! Oh! You all right? I think I'll just leave it there for a while. All right. Hey, hey, don't move. What are you playing at? Hey, get off! There's flies all over your hat. That's my fly hat. Are you finished? No, I'm English. Funny question. <sighs> Sorry about that. Well, in today's show, we're going to be taking a good look at fish. Oh, I know all about fish. Do you? Do you know the most intelligent fish is a dolphin? A dolphin? Mm. How do you make that out? It must be. It's always in schools. <sighs> hey, and there's a very rare fish called a barry manilow. A barry manilow? Yeah, it's a starfish. Do you mind? I'm trying to do a serious educational programme here. OK, I won't say another word. Well, don't. Not another squeak. Thank you. As I was saying... Squeaked. You've done it now. Right. Go and sit in the corner. In the corner? Go and sit in the corner. But can't I help you? I don't need any help. Sit in the corner. I could fluff this up for you like I that. don't want you to fluff it up. Just sit in the corner and be quiet. I'll sit in the corner. Thank you. Just sit down. Right. OK? OK. Now, not a sound. Right. As I was saying... I can be very quiet when I want to be. Hey! Stand up. Turn the chair round. Now sit in it and face the corner. I won't be able to see what's going on then. You've got the idea. Sit down. Oh. OK? Right, stay there. Now, without further ado, let's go over to our very own Chuckle Vision Country Manor. I know someone who'll love this. Annie, come on, I need some help. Just come in. What a marvellous set. Oh, no, the television set's in the other room. What are you going on about? Well, it wouldn't look right in here with all these fish, would it? What's this? That's gums. Gums? Me goldfish. You're going to enjoy today's show. It's all about fish. Hey, shouldn't there be some water in here? Don't be ridiculous. That fish has been mounted. I got that myself. Where did you get it? The shop in the high street. Which shop? Second hand shop. Oh, I got my watch fixed there. Did you? Yeah, he fitted a second hand, second hand. Oh. Hello, and welcome back to Chuckle Vision. Today's show is all about fishing. They are gums, I told you. It's all about fish. What? Fishing. Fishing? I thought you said fish. Well, you can't go fishing without fish, can you? What about my poor gums? Don't worry. Keep your mouth closed, nobody will notice. Oh. Fishing is very popular, and today we're going to show you how to go about it. What are you doing? I don't want him to hear. It might frighten him. He'll be up all night. Oh. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. If you want to be a great angler, you need to know something about fish. And here on Chuckle Vision, we are very lucky to have the world's leading expert to talk to you about it. Expert? Who's that? Need you ask? I should have known. I'd take those off. Hm. Shouldn't you be over there? Oh, yes. It is important to know fish inside out. Yeah. Now, where's my pointer? Pointer? Yeah, I need a pointer to point out the fish on the chart. Oh, I'll go and get one. No, no, I'll tell you what to do. Go and get me one. That's a good idea. Yes. Don't worry, it'll be only a minute. <whistles> pointer. 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 
Your point, eh? Oh, thanks. Now, this first fish is the trout. It lives in fast-moving rivers and lakes and comes in various sizes. To fit your frying pan. Yes. And the next fish is the salmon. This is our most majestic freshwater fish. This comes in... Salads and sandwiches and can be found in tins. No, it doesn't. This is a wonderful fish. It? This fish swims thousands of miles to spawn. Spawn? Where's that? Uh, somewhere in Scotland. He knows. Which is also famous for the perch. Now, unlike the other two, the perch... Has a parrot sitting on it. No, it doesn't. The perch is a coarse fish. The other two are game. Oh, I went game fishing once with Uncle Jim. Did you? Catch anything? Yeah, two snakes and ladders in a trivial pursuit. Well, I think it's about time that we went out and did a bit of fishing ourselves. Hey, he's forgotten one. This next fish is used for fixing pianos. It's a tuna. Barry! Oh, I think it's about time we went out and had a look at some fish. That's my job. Sorry. In the meantime, let's go out and have a report from our deep sea experts. Ooh. Do you know, I'm sick of this. So am I. Fish, 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 day in, day out, night in, night out. Nothing but fish. Tell you what, we'll make a pact. Make a pact? Yeah. Neither of us mention fish again. OK, I won't mention fish. Whatever you do, don't mention fish. OK. What are you going to do? I'll tell us a story. Oh, good. Once upon a time, there was the prince and the princess. What's this? Another bit of cod? Cod? That's fish. Don't mention fish. Oh. Now, one day, the princess was walking along the beach. Was she walking on a soles or a reels? Fish? Don't mention fish. Oh. Suddenly, a great big wave came and swept her out to sea. But that was a bit of a shark. Shark? Don't mention fish. Oh. As, as luck may have it, the handsome prince was just riding by. Was he on his pike? Pike! Don't mention fish! As he, he got off his horse and he dived into the sea. Oh. And he swam on and swam on. And swam on and swam on and swam on. Salmon, that fish! Don't mention fish! <laughs> As he got close to the princess, he made a grab. He caught a crab. A crab! Don't mention fish! He got a grab of the princess, then he dragged her back to the beach. Oh. And as he got to the shore, he picked her up in his arm. He must have had strong muscles. Muscles, that... He picked her up, and as she laid there, she looked so pitiful that he kissed her. And she died. And she died. She didn't die. Well, if she didn't die, did it mackerel? Mackerel, that's fish! Stop talking about fish! Oh. <laughs> it's a nice place, isn't it? It is a nice place. Well, we're just about ready to settle down and do some fishing. We'll let you know what we've caught shortly. In the meantime, here's Armchair Theatre. Hey, wait a minute. What? We've forgotten to bring any fishing gear. Oh. <sighs> Slimeball Simon was exactly as his name suggested. Slimy. Yuck. He was a real rotter. Even on the day of the great fishing contest, Slimeball Simon was true to his name. Fishing was very popular that term. And when the headmaster found out about it, he decided to organise a grand fishing contest with a fabulous cash prize. Every break, the kids will practise their casting. Hooks got tangled, spools came loose, and everybody got hot under the collar. Especially Jimmy Randall, the school swat. Somehow, the fishing line got tangled up in Jimmy's school tie, and he was dragged around the playground four times before they managed to free him. Slimeball Simon was really keen to win. And so, with no pad in hand and pencil at the ready, he began to take a keen interest in the other competitors. And this is where his problems really began. For although most of his schoolmates were very bad, some were very good. One in particular, no, not Jimmy Randall, Kevin Cater. He was the school swimming captain he was the champion sprinter, he was the chief charity collector, and he was a mega milk monitor. In fact, he was school everything. 
You name it, he had a badge for it. And it seems certain that he's going to add the badge of fishing champion to that list. Slimeball Simon's thoughts turned to sabotage. He could tamper with Kevin's line, but that'd be noticed. He could swap his rod, but that'd be obvious. He could bend his hook, but Kevin had just replaced it. He could... Of course, that was it. He'd fix his bait. But how could he do it without being caught? The answer came at tea time when Simon's mother opened the fridge. Ah! She screamed and promptly fainted on the spot. Simon had put his jars of bait in the fridge without screwing the top down properly, and the worms had escaped. Slimeball Simon grew slimy with excitement. This was the idea he'd been waiting for, and what an idea! The contest was on a Saturday, so everybody had to arrange a lift down to the river. Simon had overheard Kevin telling his father to get him down there early so that he could practice casting. So all Simon had to do was to get into the car and release the bait. Saturday came, and Simon was there bright and early. And there, neatly parked, was Kevin's dad's unmistakable zappy gold car. The jar was on the seat. Simon tried the door. He smiled to himself as he slipped inside. His fingers reached out for the jar. Suddenly, the car alarm went off. Simon couldn't stop it. He dropped the jar. There were worms everywhere, over the floor, over the seat, and over himself. The noise had attracted a lot of attention. Pupils, parents, and teachers were all headed in his direction. Simon turned to flee, but slipped on a jar which had rolled underfoot. <gasps> From his position on the ground, Simon was amazed to see, approaching him, another snappy gold car, and in it, Kevin and his dad. The car stopped, and Kevin jumped out and ran towards Simon, shouting, Simon, Simon, are you all right? Simon raised his head weakly and said, Kevin, have you only just arrived? I thought you were here already. No, he wasn't, but I am. And I want to know what you were doing in my car. It was the headmaster. And even before the telltale worm sneakily slipped its head out of Simon's collar, Simon knew there was no way he was going to be able to slime out of this one. And that was that. Slimeball Simon was exposed for what he was, a rotten, worthless, low-down cheat. And the fishing competition well, that gave Kevin Cater yet another badge for his collection. And next year, well, Slimeball Simon is probably planning something even slimier. The worm had turned, for now. Welcome back. As you can see, we're getting together a few essentials for a decent day's fishing. You got the sandwiches? Yes. Maggots? No, cheese spread. Not for the sandwiches, for bait. Bait? Yeah. It's not to put on the hooks. Oh, I thought you said mate. Mate? Yeah, but then I thought you didn't say mate, you said meat. So I got you this. Oh, that's freezing. Where did you get it? From the freezer. But that's tomorrow's dinner. Couldn't we have fish instead? Hey, that's a good idea. Fish. Why didn't I think of that? Silly you. Silly me. Well, we've just got one or two more items to get, but we'll get those from our local fishing shop. Good. Come on. Oh, see you later. This is it. This is the shop. Look at that little fisherman. He's very nice. He is very nice, isn't he? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> hey, Paul, how's this? Take that off. You look silly with that on. Silly me? Silly you. All right. <laughs> hey, Paul, how about this one? No, no, that's a fly rod. Is it? Yeah. How do they hold on to it? Well, they tied on. Oh, I see. <laughs> Look, we want everything for a complete beginner. Oh, yeah. No expense spared. Right, right. Just a minute. How are we going to pay for it? Oh, there's no problem. We'll put it on your account. Oh, I see. But I haven't got an account. Yes, you have. I opened one for you this morning. Oh, thank you very much. All right. Paul? Barry, can we get your tackle? Tackle? I can't play rugby like this. As you can see, we've got everything we need for a good day's fishing at the river. Um, yep. 